Welcome back. Um, Ron, let's talk about these uh, runaway prices because it, it seems like, at least this is what I'm hearing, and, and um, you would have a better indication of this. People think that, you know what, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to get into the housing market now because um, I can lock into, it might be a higher rate, but rates are going to come down, if not this year or next year. Is that a smart way to think about it? Yeah, we see typically a three-year fixed rate mortgage being the most popular, some people choosing two-year. Uh, we don't see as much five-year selection anymore as we certainly used to. That was the main term for most people in Canada for a very long time. But we also see virtually no variable rate because it's just too risky right now, and it's just uh, and it's very expensive as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't see much variable. That's probably down to about you know four or five percent of the whole marketplace. What do you think is going to happen with rates then, Ron? Because, um, you know, all indication says that the rate hike cycle might not be over, although we got pretty decent news in terms of inflation here in Canada, at least. Yeah, good, good news. It's not going up anymore, although core inflation did edge up slightly, but overall inflation due to base effect came down. What I would say is this. Uh, we will probably eventually see another rate increase from the Bank of Canada, probably another 25 basis point increase, whether it's in July or September, we don't know yet. Uh, there's a strong chance of it, probably a 65% chance. And at that point, the Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklin has already said, stated openly, my, my belief is I will stop at five. At 5%, that's another quarter percent increase, he will stop. So that's a statement that's out there and he's made it. So we can assume that he's probably telling the truth because when it's bad news, he tends to be factual. So stops at five. That's another increase for variable rate holders. But then we sit back and watch what happens. If there's a chance that, uh, that eventually cuts will begin next year, you will see a drop in fixed rates. But that could easily be months and months away. Okay. Um, let's switch gears and talk about amortization um, because the word is that some mortgage holders are now extending their mortgage period. Um, I'm hearing sometimes as much as double, um, which, and we know the typical length is about 25 years. What, what's going on? Okay. So typical length between 25 and 30 years, the limit in Canada for the vast majority of federally licensed institutions is 30 years. They can't go any farther, but here's what happened. People have had Variable rate mortgages, the, the product is a static payment product. In other words, let's just use a simple example. You started uh, two years ago, your payment was $2,000, interest rates were incredibly low. Uh, you had a huge portion of your payment of $2,000 going to principal. You might've been paying $1,600 towards principal, $400 towards the interest cost. Well, now that these rate hikes have occurred and it's close to 5% instead of 0.25%, you see this dramatic increase in the interest portion of your mortgage. So instead of you're paying $1,600 towards principal, you're now paying $100 towards principal. Mm. You may even be paying $10 towards principal. And that means when you look at that mortgage, it's almost all interest. And that calculation means that it, the time it will take to pay it is no longer 25 or 30 years. It's 60 years or 70 years or as high, I've seen as high as 92 years before there's any opportunity to pay off the mortgage. So this is something that was unexpected. The product was designed without this possibility of super fast, super aggressive rate increases. Nobody ever understood how the, that would really come to pass because it hadn't happened in the, before. So here we are. We've got people with existing variable rate mortgages where their payments are still small. They're not covering virtually any of the principal of the mortgage. and that pushes out amortization. Wow. I Like you said, unintended, I guess, consequences. What do you think the banks are thinking then? Well, the banks don't mind. I mean, the, the default rate in they Canada is more still, money, I guess. Still, they don't mind the more interest. And they also know that the default rate in Canada is still incredibly low. It's lower than many other, many other developed countries in the world. So they don't feel the impact of it in terms of people not paying their mortgage, people are paying their mortgage. And in some ways, maintaining this low payment helps the bank. It allows people to make those payments. Now, what's gonna happen eventually is all these mortgages will renew and something has to give. Uh, they need to return to 25 or 30 year amortization at minimum. 
So it could have a big impact on people in the coming years. Okay.